Today is day nine of my ramen challenge and I'm packing up some stuff to go try a highly requested combo, ramen and ice cream. A restaurant in Japan went viral for it earlier this year when they were serving ice cream with their spicy miso. I don't have any ice cream at home or spicy miso ramen, so I'm taking some stuff with me to eat in my car. Lucky me, the store didn't have a single instant ramen package that was spicy miso flavored, so I went to the miso section thinking I can add some of that flavoring to some of the instant ramen, and they had this tofu shirataki ramen, so I'm just going to use the paste packets and mix it with this tonkatsu bowl. I found a legit parking spot near the ice cream shop, paid for the parking, and then it was time to whip out my goodies. If you don't have a car tray, you're missing out. There's a guy putting change in the meter next to me and he's eyeing what I'm doing. <laughs> oh boy. Putting a lot of trust into this car tray right now. First, I mix the spicy miso paste with some hot water. Yes, I also brought a bowl and chopsticks. You gotta come prepared for car dining. Just me making ramen in my car while the street car goes by. I'll have to save these packages for another time. I'm sure I'll figure out something to do with them. Poured the mixture in along with some hot water, then closing the lid and setting the chopsticks on top. I had to carefully get out of my car so I wouldn't up in the entire thing. Hopefully no one to my car and takes my instant ramen. A little stroll to the ice cream shop to acquire the vanilla ice cream cone. And man, did I want to try all the flavors, but I did not have the time. All right, ice cream is acquired, but I think he gave me an extra scoop. So I guess just more for the ramen. Good news, no one broke into my car for the ramen. All right, that didn't take as long as expected. I think this is still cooking. So I guess I just, I guess I just got to eat some. Mm -mm -mm. That is some good ice cream. I knew the ice cream cone wouldn't fit in this bowl, so I transferred it over to mine. I don't know if I'll ever say this again, but I made a little noodle bed for the ice cream. Also packed an egg, of course, along with the only knife I have a sheath for. And all right, it's time for the ice cream. I'm just following along to the picture I saw posted on the restaurant's social media page, so please don't come at me. I'm already getting enough angry comments from this challenge. I didn't really know how to eat this. Should I wait for all the ice cream to melt? Should I alternate bites? I just went for the noodles first and spooned some of the broth over the ice cream. It's just making the broth like less intense, more creamy, nothing crazy. It's not bad. I'll say that now. I haven't finished it, but it's not bad. When you get the noodles close to here, you get like this little cold burst. I think this works. The combo spicy and dairy is something that a lot of people already combine. This is just a slower release method. This is the part that I don't get, that I don't think I would, well, we'll try it for science. The only thing I didn't like was the sogginess of the cone. The texture threw me off. But when you take a bite out of the whole cone, it really got that sweet and savory combo that I like with the crunch factor. Would you try this?